Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Uh, this time, I just I need I needed to make some uh, internal grooves, and um, was I gonna make my tool or just uh, get something maybe already done? So I went on uh, Banggood, and uh, I ordered myself uh, some uh, grooving bars, which uh, this one, uh, the smaller one, will accommodate some uh, 1.5 uh, millimeter uh, wide uh, inserts, which. Uh, is 59 thousandths in the uh, imperial system this one is two uh, millimeter wide prices for that mean uh, under uh, around or around twelve dollars per bar for the uh, u.s price these are about five dollars for the two millimeter wide they're more like sixteen dollars for the uh, 1.5 millimeter uh, maybe to have you you know if you're interested into seeing the specifications or even ordering them just go into the description box and, and i'll give the link for uh, every separate item that will be, you know, that's like I said, will keep, that will keep you from having to look to uh, all the site and uh, maybe not finding them. So um, we'll be just doing some tests on them and I'll try to give my uh, honest opinion about it. See how they, uh, s see how they perform. Okay, these are the tools. Um, I've ordered them from uh, Banggood. I needed some internal uh, grooving, you know, like uh, internal grooving bars and uh, the insert that uh, corresponds to them. Most of the stuff you're going to order from China is mainly metric. Uh, these will make exception. This is a 1.5 millimeter wide um, bar. Uh, you know that will accommodate the uh, 1.5 millimeter uh, inserts, and these are two millimeters inserts going to the two millimeter bar. Uh, the one we'll test now. Uh, I'll test only one because it could be pretty repetitive. I'll be testing the uh, 1.5. So uh, they came with the key wrapped up in the bag with the. Uh, you know, plastic tubing to uh, put them in. They're greasy a little bit, and uh, <coughs> ready to get the insert in. Um, I don't know, never mind the uh, the grease. If you're a machinist, you don't really worry about the grease a little bit. You know, that's uh, part of the game. Um, let's see how it fits. It's going to be the first time I fit it on, so uh, let's see how it goes. The inserts aren't very big, like 1.5 millimeter wide would correspond to about 60 thousandths. Uh, uh, it's Make it a little bit more precise. 60 thousandths uh, imperial system. Let's see uh, how we read with this. Yeah, we read 59 thousandths. So uh, we're pretty close from 60 thousandths. Let's see how they uh, insert in there. This is a grooving, uh, grooving type internal. Oops, I uh, need to be untied. So if you don't have a metric uh, Allen key set or something, time to uh, maybe get one because you, if you, as you're going to be ordering tools from China or things from China, you'll be needing some uh, metric uh, metric material. Everything is almost just you know you get some uh, you get some imperial stuff there, but mostly mostly stuff will be metric. So let's make it tight. You don't have to make these things overly tight. They just uh, oops, it's not in there. Good. So there, just a second. Let me uh, insert this the right way so we don't. Uh, I have a bad surprise using it. Oh, there we go. This is better. If you need to push an insert to anything, this is right in the bottom. But if you need to push an insert, never use anything hard like metal. You're going to chip off the ends. If not, then it's because you're lucky. Kay. This goes tight on the, uh, in the insert. It would be able to really make a groove right down the bottom without uh, leaving any, uh, you know, like flush with the bottom. Another test that could be interesting is to see how hard this is. Let's clean this up. This is got to be clean too. Let me see. Good. Okay. And uh, let's see how this will perform. Zero this year. There. Release. Give it a few seconds for the indenter to work, and let's see how we get. It is uh, 47 Rockwell on the C scale, which is nicely hardened. Okay, now for the sake of comparing, this is a bar from uh, Seiko. I think that should be making a very good comparison. And naturally, the type of metal is not exactly known on e either of them, but Okay, let's preload. Bring this to zero. 
with these. The indenter is going in, and uh, after the preset, they will measure the difference between the uh, penetration and the preset. Now, let's go and see how it, it writes down to, let's say, between 43 and 44 on, on the Rockwell C scale, which, within a few, uh, a few points, it's pretty close. No, you can't. Uh, it's really hard to mix, uh, you know, everything like uh, within a half a point in there. Installing the uh, little star square on the end there. Let's see how perpendicular the insert is installed regarding the axis of the uh, the tool. We're about in the middle there. Seems to be reason reasonably well lined up. Uh, I would say that uh, for the distance it has to work and the everything it's uh i guess it should be reasonably okay um if you pay like uh, five times the price or ten times the price you'll get maybe a little bit better lining lining up or a better tool for a few in a few regards but not uh for just about any use gonna do with this i think you should be pretty happy so insert well installed seems seems solid and that's the let's go test the bar okay i've got uh one just almost one and a quarter uh, inch uh, short of a thousandth of an inch which is uh, you know one intolerance for lots of the bores and um, let's make it now um, let's make the grooves inside this uh, this bore okay we're turning uh, 650 rpms I took the care of the time and the time to uh, line up the insert with the end there we're going to be uh, going make a let's say a hundred thousand of an inch inside. That's uh, that's about there. So we can still see what we're doing. A little bit of oil. And I'm going to make uh, 80,000, uh, let's say, diameter, outside diameter on the uh, on the groove itself. We'll be measuring after. You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's get there. I, z I took the time to uh, I'll just check it out. So if it's OK, we'll be zeroing on this. Let's uh, zero this and we're going like 80 thousandths. The thing is, uh, if you want the bar, don't want the bar to sing, you got to keep a good. Uh, as soon as you stop feeding, it sings. That's uh, so far so good for the uh, grooving itself. But like I say, if you don't give enough pressure, just let it lean on there, it will sink. Uh, there's another little machinist trick to uh, you know, stop the bar from uh, singing, but uh, I'll show you. Let's go, uh, let's go inside enough now to make another groove. Okay, that's about it. Let's go inside. Machinist trick to... Uh, you put a little bit of pressure on the bar. Take a little piece of stick like this. And let's uh, let's go again for the same uh, same depth. Getting closer. Okay, we're just about to start. Now you make this constant feed pressure on the stick. Say five, nine, eighty. If it sings, you're gonna have a funny uh, funny looking bottom of the groove. There we go. We got two grooves in there, and uh, let's go measure this. Just before that, I'm going to clean up the sides. Uh, be careful when you use uh, sandpaper inside of a in an inside diameter like this. If you get something that can wrap up around your finger, it can be uh, it can be pretty deadly. Use a very small piece that has no chance of uh, getting around your uh, fingers. Okay, let's say uh, we got a decent bore here cut the edges and let's see how uh, how we did on the size okay measuring inside grooves is not the easiest thing uh, in life so uh, I got this tool here it's made by Starrett and uh, by pressing this little lever there it will bring the uh, you know the um, measuring uh, surfaces here at the right uh, amount of place to go inside the bore and they will expand again. Let's measure the first one, and it will expand again when it gets into the um, the groove itself. So here, 
when you get to this uh, calibrated that when I get to zero there I get exactly 80,000 so you know you're in there so let's try to see how much I can get there you get the maximum reading in there okay we're about uh, three thousandths and a half sorry about no we're about four thousand oops okay then be a little dirt well four, yeah we're about four thousand so from the uh, nominal reading for the first groove let's go see the second groove now press the uh, never again I got a fucking mosquito right in my nose and let's try to get maximum reading this one is reading about I would say roughly three thousandths under uh, it's not above it's under uh, it's, a, it's a minus there so it's reading about three thousandths under the uh, nominal reading which is not too bad because the groove is pretty hard to you know get very very exact and it's pretty hard to measure also so that's about uh, that's about pretty uh, you know I would say pretty good I've been working uh, with the 1.5 millimeter uh, bar and the insert uh, never change the insert it's always the same insert I did the f some you know a few a few grooves and turns out decent I would say uh, I like the work it does um, this is a piece of coal roll and what I did I cut the uh, I don't know if you can see there yeah I cut the I cut the front part to, the, to be able to see the bottom of the grooves I'll be showing some um, close-ups and I'll be showing some uh, close views of this so uh, just maybe watch this and uh, I think it might be interesting okay we're getting a uh, pretty extreme ex extreme close-up here which is nice uh, let me uh, I can't see the cameras in the way okay the first groove here which uh, the one that was singing we see clearly the uh, singing notes in there the, uh, the the little bands from the uh, oscillation that's uh, exactly what they you know what it does and we see the second band there which is very clean very nice uh, and very regular the sides are nice the bottom is nice the uh, even the um, the corners are very clean. I just kind of deburred very lightly the edge there. It would need to be a little bit more uh, deburred if you put some uh, O-rings in there or something. You don't want to have any um, anything too sharp in this corner. Um, the insert themselves are about uh, this is about five six dollars a box of uh, ten. This is the two millimeter wide, and these are the uh, one point five millimeter one. They're much more expensive. They're twenty dollars a box, but even there, it's uh, 10 inserts for the price of uh, one of the uh, you know brand names if you want to go for um, you know the the uh, specifications and the exact prices and if you want to order some just get into the description box i'll put the links to uh, every item and uh, that will keep you uh, from having to search uh, the whole uh, the whole site and you maybe get lost in there so uh, the bar is about 15 dollars a piece decent bars like i say usable in the home shop uh, small machine shop a garage shop or whatever I mean for me they're satisfying they're doing the job I can go around the uh, singing problem uh, this you know the um, some damping maybe is needed but it they're working good as far as I'm concerned they do they do the job all right uh, I'm go I've got a few more tools coming in and uh, some are ordered some are uh, you know uh, been asked to review so uh, I'll be letting you know because these ones I paid for them just by the way I'm not engaged or make, you know in making a positive review or anything like that it's just it's my own uh, it's, it's my own impression I'm free to say what I have to say on them um, I got a few, it's like I said I got a few more items coming and uh, if I find good deals in there you'll be uh, you'll be notified I'll just make uh, I'll make a video and a review and I'm pretty sure that uh, some of the items in there will uh, show up as good deals